Hi, I'm Femi O.K. For this time for Nature, we are going to Santa Barbara in the USA to meet Christine Tompkins. She's the UNEP patron of protected areas. Christine, hello. Welcome. Hello. Nice to see you. I'm going to show a picture of Patagonia and it looks like a piece of art. Where were you when this picture was taken? This is what would become Patagonia National Park, one of the 13 national parks we've created in the Southern Cone. What does it feel like when you stand there, Christine? Oh, it's a feeling I think you never get over. I always look at it this way. The moment we acquire property, and especially once we've donated it to make a national park, my overriding feeling is it will never be in worse shape than it is today. It's going in one direction now, back to its fully expressive self. People talk about the environment a lot and they talk about action and maybe they donate some money or donate some of mm -hmm. their time. When I think about what you and Doug and your organization is doing right now, you are doing the action part of this. Action is, uh, is indicative of personality. So that has its good sides and bad sides. I think that the day for inaction on anyone's part is long past. I always tell people when they say, what can I do? The first thing is getting out of bed every single morning and doing something that has nothing to do with yourself, but rather do something for those things you love. Do things for those things that you know to be true. So. The biggest decision is just to act. You can go to the streets with Greta. You can call up your local land trust and ask how to help, how to volunteer. It's getting on your feet and deciding you're going to play a part in the future of our civilization. What gives you hope for the future? You know, I've come to think that hope is a pretty empty word in, in many cases. And I think talking about hope sometimes leads us to, to, to a sense of abdication, as if I have hope, my hope is actually saying, I hope you're doing something. <laughs> so I look at hope this way. We have to work for hope. We have to earn hope. Hope doesn't just come in on a tray that someone else will take care of our future. I don't, I, I, I don't want any of us talking about hope unless, again, we're getting out of bed and we are working hard. We're investing in our ability to use the word hope for our future. As UNEP patron of protected areas, what is your message for World Environment Day? I say make Environment Day every day and start looking at what's possible rather than what feels difficult or even impossible. Christine Tompkins, thank you for making time for nature.